Gee. Gee, if, this, if I knew this was going to be like this, I would have charged admissions. <laughs> but I, um, I'm glad to see all of you here today. Uh, as you know, I've been mayor in this city now for a month and a couple days since the passing of our former mayor, Bill Carpenter. And it's been interesting, to say the least. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about what we have been able to do in the, in the month and a few days or even some things that we plan on doing as mayor until January 6th. You know, it's, uh, it's nice to, um, to hear how people are looking to promise you the world. Uh, it's not as easy as it is. There's not a single person in this room or sitting back here that doesn't want safe streets, great schools, great roads, a lower crime, I want the same things. But the question that you should be asking is how do we do that? <laughs> but you hear people promising this stuff too. I mean, I, I remember as a kid, my, I think my first election was the, uh, the uh, Reagan years, and they were talking about those issues back then. And we're still in 2019 talking about the same old issues. And those people that have come before us are a lot smarter than I am. If they were talking about it back then, we're still talking about it today, it means that it didn't get done. So instead of sitting here telling you, I promise that I'm going to fix your roads, I'm going to fix your schools, I might have to do some of those as mayor, but not as a city councilor, because our job is to represent you and hold on to the purse to make sure that your tax dollars aren't being wasted. A lot of times when... I said it from day one when I, uh, when I first uh, ran some five and a half years ago and that I didn't run for office to get along with anyone or to become anybody's rubber stamper because if that was the case, I wouldn't have done it. I did it because I believe we can do a better job in terms of representation to represent your interest and work with whoever is sitting as mayor to make sure that your wishes are carried through actions, not just what I want to do, but what you as taxpayers in this committee want done. So, so I promise that within the next five months, I'll continue to do the will of the people as the mayor in this city. But I also want you on September 17th to go out and vote for me again as the council at large in this city. And if I so happen to be lucky enough to move on from sept for September on, that you do this again in November. I thank you for your trust. I thank you for your friendship, because I consider you all friends. And please remember, go out and vote. It doesn't matter who you vote for. But remember, it's not about promises. It's about those that are willing to step up and do what they need to do to represent you. Thank you much.